Don't lose your head, but a big television and movie star is right here in the WECT studios. Last week was the big premiere of Wilmington film TV show Sleepy Hollow. And we're talking with one of the show's stars. Ashley Kozakowski is live now with the one and only Orlando Jones. Ashley? Hey, Fran, as you can see, we are here with Orlando Jones, one of the stars of Sleepy Hollow. Thanks so much for coming to our studio Thank today. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. We're so excited to have you here. And, you know, the show had its first episode last week. Mm -hmm. For those who didn't see it, and there's just a small little bit of people who maybe didn't see it, tell us <laughs> a little bit about this show. It's a completely new, crazy concept, right? It is. It is. Um, so the war between good and evil is back on. Uh, George Washington gave an assassination order to Ichabod Crane who killed a Hessian soldier, chopped his head off, and their bloodlines mixed, and now the war is back on, and one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, who is the Headless Horseman, is riding again. Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> Welcome to Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> and, and tell me about your character. Where do you fit into this? So I like to say I'm from Manhattan. I'm not from Sleepy Hollow. I was probably sitting on my sofa watching Wendy Williams, because she's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. And um, basically, I get a call that a reverend and a sheriff have been killed, and I get sent down to sort of make some sense out of what's happening. So that's how I arrive into the story. And I'm, I'm pretty much the skeptic. I'm the person who's trying to make sense of it. But then you don't know if I'm good or evil. Yeah, and you don't really buy his storyline. Well, it sounds crazy that a guy with no head is running around with a blade heated above 500 degrees and he's chopping people. I mean, come on, that's cuckoo for Coco Town. That makes no sense. So I'm definitely, you know, that person. But I think also because we don't want you to just believe the premise, we kind of want to earn it. You want somebody to be skeptical. Right. Somebody needs to be the skeptic. Yeah, I think, you know, Kurtz von Rossi and uh, the creators really wanted that to be an important part of the premise. And there's a bit of humor here. It's not just action adventure. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. One of your lines was there are rose bushes on every corner. Yeah, there's what like, the heck is going on here? What's going on here? I mean, <laughs> and watching Ichabod Crane play with like the, um, the car, car window, like a five year old is hilarious because you know, thinking of it as somebody who fought for this country to exist wakes up 250 years later to see what the country has become. And that's kind of a cool idea, but he doesn't know anything, and that's a fun part of it, I guess. And Orlando, you were at the screening just a couple weeks ago that mm -hmm. we had here in Wilmington, and you were talking to the audience, and I just remember when you said you were from Greenville, South Carolina, right. there was just this big cheer. Everybody was so happy to welcome a Southerner back, I guess. Which was, because I was like, are you all from, from Greenville? Like, what is going on? <laughs> you said Greenville, and everyone was, Whoa! Yeah! No, it's, I'm totally a Southerner, and always fun to be back. And, you know, I, I filmed in Wilmington before, but... It's a beautiful town. It's nice to be back. And what did you miss about being in the South, living in L.A. for as long as you've been out here? Have you part partaked in anything that's... First of all, you know, Amy's, Amy's, for, Amy's Bowl is kind of awesome. Flaming Bowl you got to go to. Love it. Um, but my neighbor brought me a peach cobbler yesterday. Really? Yeah. And that's, you know, it's one of those warm and fuzzy feelings you get about the South. So it's, it's really nice to be back. That don't happen in New York or L.A. That is so cool. Yeah, so it really nobody's is. nobody's ever brought you a peach cobbler in, in L.A.? No, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Uh, an arrest warrant one time, got one of those, but no, 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 no joking. <laughs> <laughs> no peach cobbler. <laughs> so happy to be back. And, and how are you liking Wilmington? I'm loving it now that it is cooler yeah. because it was extremely hot before uh, you see the last remnants of who I used to be. Now I'm a chocolate American because it's just hot. It's very hot. So it's nice to get in the cool part of the weather here. And you've been filming on location at Screen Gems as mm -hmm. well as out in the community. Anywhere cool that you've filmed so far? Wow, we've been in the woods. Uh, we have been about hour out of town of town, New Bern, we're going to right now. Um, a lot of cool places. I really like the downtown area. It's grown so much since the last time I was here and there are incredible restaurants. It's just, it's sort of nice to see a city, you know, once and then see it growing at the same time. It's, it's, it's a cool experience to be back. Well, we love it, of course. We love Wilmington. <laughs> so uh, I guess just tell me, you know, we have just a couple seconds left. Mm -hmm. Why should people watch? I think it's hard to say you can watch a blockbuster for free sitting in your living room. And that's kind of what Sleepy Hollow is. And the idea, at least from my mother, that we're following the story of the book of Revelations in the Bible is a big part of her appeal. Sleepy that's Hollow. why your mom's watching, not just because you're on it? No, she's, she's <laughs> like, you are fine, but the book of Revelations, that's important stuff. You know, that's Jesus, baby. And I'm like, yes, mom, I'm familiar with him, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming in. And of course, Sleepy Hollow airs on our sister station, Fox Wilmington, at 10 o'clock tonight. That'll be the second episode. And you can catch up on the first one. It is available for free on iTunes. Thanks, Orlando. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, Fran, back to you.